saints, those who are born again. He said, Jesus established the church where you can go and be, quote, refilled. It's just like an automobile. You can fill it up, but you keep running it and you're going here, you're going there, you're going here, you're going there. Eventually, you have to go back to the filling station, gas station, and get some more gas. That's the same way it is about the church. Jesus Christ established the church uh, that we might be filled every Sabbath day. He says in his word, remember the Sabbath way, Sabbath day. This is the commandment that the Lord God gave unto mankind, and especially Israel, his people. I don't understand why Christians now have become so slowful until they don't attend church on a regular basis. Compare now how you feel compared to when you were regularly going to church. You had a different spirit. You had a different mind. You had a different outlook on life. David says, I was glad. Why was he glad? Because there's joy when you go to the house of the Lord. You can uh, speak the same language of, a, of those who have been toiling and, and in this Christian life. And you can worship together. You can sing together. You can testify of the goodness of the Lord. As my late pastor would say, you wasn't raised that way. Go back to church. Find your church of your choice. The Lord is waiting for you to get back. Time is winding up. Look at the signs of the times according to the Bible. The Lord is waiting for you. Our doors here swings on the hinges of welcome, but... Go to a church of your choice where you can serve and work out your soul's salvation with fear and trembling. What is God who works in your soul? Your soul is hungry. Your soul is hungry for that fellowship, for Sunday school. We have Sunday school here. We haven't cut out Sunday school here. We haven't cut out Baptist training here. We still have evening services here. God bless you.